In this video, I'll give you an overview of the Atomic Scribbler interface, then in future sessions I'll go into detail about each of its features. At the top of the window is a tabbed menu system. Click any tab to reveal that item's toolbar. The toolbars are grouped by functionality. The first project tab contains items that relate to the project as a whole, adding scenes, adding notes, renaming, find. Actions and tools contains things like the word counts, backups, importing and exporting, the word processor tab, not surprisingly, contains options related to text editing and formatting. Smart Edit is the feature that contains checks to help you with editing your text. Remember, although Atomic Scribbler is free, Smart Edit is a paid add-on. It's well worth the cost, in my opinion, and it's actually the reason I began to use the Atomic Scribbler software. The Help tab includes links to various help pages on the website, as well as an option to sign up for the email list. The About icon will display the current version of your software, and there's a link there to check for updates. In the panel on the left, you'll see folders. These are often used as chapters, but they can be anything you'd like. Within a folder, you can have multiple scenes and notes. This left tree will show the organizational structure of your project. You'll spend a lot of time working from this tree and the text editing panel in the middle. The right panel displays the notes and the daily word counts. So here we see a series of notes and you can close these by clicking the X. And from Actions and Tools, if you click Daily Word Count, that is displayed in that right panel as well. This large area in the center is your word processing or text editing area. The Start page will be open by default. Here again we see links to the Atomic Scribbler website. Quick links to useful actions like exporting your project or backing up the project, opening the project manager. And on the right is a list of links so that you can reopen some of the scenes or notes that you most recently worked on. You can have multiple scenes open at once. In my settings I have it set to open a scene by double clicking on the scene. If I'd like to work on this scene called Meeting Tom, I will double click that and it opens a tab. Once I have another tab open, if I'd like to close this start page, I can do that. But there has to be at least one tab open in the editing window. So I can open a couple scenes and then just click the tab titles so that I can work on multiple scenes at the same time. One thing I was surprised that I couldn't find when I first started using Atomic Scribbler was a Save button. As I read through the Atomic Scribbler manual, I saw that your work is automatically saved by Atomic Scribbler when you add a scene, move a folder, rename an item, and most importantly, when you write or edit your content. But if you're paranoid like me, you like the comfort of being able to click a Save button. And there actually is a save button, it's just very small, up here in the top right corner. If I make a change to the text, you see that this icon is turned blue. If the disk icon is blue, it means that there are changes that have not yet been saved. When that turns gray, it means the changes have been saved automatically. The icon is so small, it's a little hard to tell when it does change colors. And you can also force it to save by clicking that. There we see it has turned gray. You never have to click that Save button. Atomic Scribbler will save your changes periodically. And when you close a scene or a note or you close your project, everything is saved at that point. But you can use this if you'd like. And you can also use the keyboard command Control S to save your changes. In the next set of videos, I'll cover settings and customizations 
that you'll want to understand before you get started creating with Atomic Scribbler.